Good morning, guys. It's actually almost afternoon. <laughs> I got I'm late taking my walk because I woke up this morning and I slept in late because I was gonna watch Home and Family, which is one of my all-time favorite morning shows that I don't watch as nearly as often as I like on Hallmark. And they were having the Gardner Quad Squad on. And if you've watched a few of my videos recently, you know I've been going crazy for the Gardner Quadruplets who also appear on the TLC so rattled. Um, I love them and I love the Binghams. <laughs> And part of it is because I'm so jealous because they have big families. I always wanted at least another sibling and I only have one. So I think having like three siblings is awesome. Especially if they're sisters. That would be so cool. Um, well, at least one brother. But so they were on Home and Family today. So I wanted to watch that. And that comes on at 10. And they weren't on till about 11. So they were near the second half of the and like, end of the first half of the show, the show's two hours. So they were at the end of the first half. So <laughs> I didn't see them till almost 11. And then, um, and partly when I woke up, it was also pouring. So I might've been able to get a walk-in, but <laughs> it was pouring rain. And I actually have a massive wound on my ankle, which is a mosquito bite that me be me, I just scratched and picked at it. And now it's huge and infected and looks nasty. It looks so gross, but um, it's getting better. My goal is to have all my mosquito bites healed up by next Saturday. Um, so, and that's not why I'm wearing. And it's why I'm not wearing my tennis shoes today. Is because of where it is. I don't want to rub on it. So I'm just wearing my work shoes from working on. And um, yeah, I also want to apologize for the um, vlog I'll be posting later today, which is the one I did yesterday. It's called Downer for a reason. I just came home and I think, like I said, I'm experiencing the fastest turnaround about getting a new job ever. Like faster than Lakeview. Um, I mean, and it's not just me. I was talking to my friends on Old Republic last night because I did manage to get on for a little while to play after finishing um, the chapter for Crossing Battlefields which I feel like took me forever. But um, I did manage to get on Old Republic last night and play, and I was so happy because my guild, because the leader of our guild, Luna, she apparently made a bunch of these customizable light staff, the double-ended lightsaber hilts that she was trying to sell, and like they weren't selling, so she had like three of them still in the guild um, bank, which for some odd reason only she can access, like none of us can. And she's like, do you want one? I'm like, okay. So she sent me a new hilt for my light staff. So that's awesome. So I have a really cool looking lightsaber. Um, but a couple of the other guild members popped on and they asked me how I was. I said, well, I got this new job. But it's not really the job I thought it was. Um, and I explained that the reason I was drawn to this job is really because I set my own hours. Um, how it works, if you're wondering, is... If you're interested in a job like this and you think it can work for you, I don't want you to sit there and not try it. It's just that for me, what's going on in my life, this stuff I do, I'm not exactly financially secure enough, and I should have thought of this earlier, where I can take a job like this <laughs> in terms of my finances, where I'm at. After spending all that money to go up to Mackinac and then turning around pretty much and coming home. Um, I wasn't financially secure enough to get a job like this. Like if I was more financially secure, maybe I wouldn't be kicking myself in the head for taking this job, but I'm not. But if you're more financially secure and you're looking for a job that gives you a little more freedom while you're trying something else, I think this would work out great. I'm sure it works great for some people. Um, but the way it works is after you get hired and you go through orientation, which is like an hour, just like a slideshow and videos, um, you have a profile on this website called Natural Insight, and this is where you go for work. This is where everything to do with your job will be. You go to this website, I check it like, today I'll probably check it two times, but I've been checking it three times since getting hired. And they will post up opportunities or um, calls, I call them gigs, assignments, and for stores in your area. 
and they will give a description of what you're going to do. Here's the materials you need. Here's what's going to go down. Here's how long it will take. See, that's the thing. They will tell you how long it's going to take you to do the job. You cannot be too short and you cannot go over. If you go over, you get yelled at. If you're too short, you obviously don't get paid. Um, but that's how these jobs works. And you go to the website, you look at the job, and then you can decline it or accept it. And part of the information they give you is um, a range of dates and time and what days of the week you can go in and do this job. And then you pick whatever time, date, and day works for you in that time frame. So, and then you schedule it and you just show up. <laughs> Um, I just got my name badge yesterday from the company, so, and my mom gave me, like, a little cloth briefcase to use, because I have to take, like, for each job, I'll probably end up taking, like, up to 10 pages of paperwork with me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so you take, like, so it's going to be, like, a binder full of papers I take with me. I'm going to have materials in some cases I have to take with me, so I'm getting a briefcase. So my mom gave me a little carry bag because I was going to use my laptop bag. She's like, no. <laughs> so she's giving me that one until I can find a steady job, which I'm in the process of looking for. It's actually a steady job. And I'm getting wet. <laughs> um, which I might actually be closer to a steadier job than I think. Um, I applied at the local Comerica Bank and... Yesterday, I applied there, I think, Wednesday? No, Tuesday, I applied there once I realized what this, I think Monday or Tuesday, Monday, I applied for jobs after realizing what this one was gonna be like, and yesterday I got an email saying they liked my resume, and so they invited me to do step two of the hiring process, which is where they send me a link to this website, and I do video interviews. And what this interview was, was I got, was shown eight questions, and then I recorded my answer in between a minute up to three minutes. And then I saved it, would answer another question, I did eight of those, and I submitted them. And then they will go over those, and if that works out, then they will set up a actual face-to-face -face interview which will be step three. So I've done two steps so far for Comerica, which I'm hoping I get because this job would actually be perfect for me. Since it's a bank, they, they're closed on Sundays and holidays. Awesome <laughs> for me. So they'd be closed on like Good Friday, which is great. They'd be closed Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So New Year's, I think they're open, so. I'd be able to still go to church and do stuff like that. Um, I'd still be able to do family vacations. Um, on Saturday, I'd go in and work for about four hours. And then Monday through Friday, I'd be working between five and six. And it could be even less than that because I'd be only part-time. So I'd probably be working maybe four days a week. Four to five days a week, so I'd have a lot more freedom. <laughs> um, and I would like it because it would be steady, it would be regular, I'd have a steady income. Because of right now, with my current job for Lawrence Merchandising, I have four gigs scheduled, the earliest of which is not till August 11th. So I will not be doing my first job for them. Sorry. for like another two weeks. So, but I'm hoping I'm getting paid for my orientation tomorrow or next Friday. Cause I do, I'm going to Dollar Tree to get supplies for work. And I do have a baseball game I'm going to next Friday. I would like, next Saturday. I would like to have a little cash to get like a meal and stuff. Because I told my dad we should probably leave around 6.15, 6.30. The game starts at 7.05, but they're probably going to be doing stuff before the game starts. So, and I think the gates open like a half an hour before. So, I really would like to go. And they apparently still have a lot of 
tickets open for Star Wars night, which kind of surprised me. But um, I would like to have a little cash for next Saturday. That would be awesome. <laughs> um, but I have four gigs. One of the two of them are actually the same thing, but they're done in a separate week. So on the 11th, I will be going in to Target. They're all at Target. Which when I applied, we thought they were going to be at Staples, but they're all at Target. And I'm going to go into Target on the 11th. And that day I will be checking over some makeup displays, making sure they are stocked and clean and organized the way they're supposed to be. And then the following Monday, I'll be going in to do coupons. And then the, that, that Tuesday after the following Monday, where I do the coupons the next day, I'm going in to look at their NFL fan team zone merchandise to make sure that's all straight and neat and ready. And then the Monday after that, I go back to double check the makeup again. So. The two makeups and the um, fan zone, those are supposed to be done within an hour. So 50 minutes, five minute prep, 50 minute execute, five minute survey stuff. And then the coupons take me 45 minutes, five minutes prep, 30 minutes to do five minutes like survey and stuff. That's a grand total of three hours and 45 minutes. That's like, just around $30 for three weeks of work. I mean, when I left Staples, I was working, I think one week I worked like eight hours. I made like $50 for about eight hours. So, and at Staples, I got paid like $9.15 an hour. Here I'm getting paid $10 before taxes. So it's like, Really? Seriously? So, I'm hopeful that I'll hear back from Comerica soon, or I'll hear back from Home Depot, or one of these other places I've applied to, and it will be good news. And although it would kill me, because I hate getting a job and then going, oh, I can't work here, like, not even a month after being hired, um, to, um, say that, um, it sucks. But... I don't know what to do. I have to do something, so. But, and I was very upfront with Comerica. I explained that currently I work for Lawrence Merchandising. I just started there, but I need something that's more steady, provides me with regular hours of regular income because I can't do this. And right now this morning, I'm also kicking myself in the head because I went out to the store and I told you guys I spent $60 most of it which was a phone card and a book. And then I wake up this morning, I go into my closet and I find, find out I didn't need to buy razors or toothpaste because I had an unopened box of toothpaste and an unopened thing of razors that I bought before I went up north. Oh, I'm such an idiot. So I'm really upset with myself that I didn't bother to check my closet. So. I am very frustrated at myself right now. I'm very mad. Um, like I said, I let myself get sucked in to this idea of, hey, it's nice, it's cool. I mean, the idea of taking a three-day weekend, a four-day weekend, that sounds cool, but at the same time, I think I would get tired of it after a while. I mean, I like having my free time. I like being able to spend all this time writing and stuff. I'm trying to keep on a study writing schedule, but I need, I need stability. You know, I need that steady paycheck because next month, those could be the only jobs I get. I might need not get um, the following month. I might only get, oh, there's a squirrel. I might only get one or two jobs. So and I'm part-time, which means I'm working less than their full-timers. Like they said, their average employee works average their employee works on average during a week five to ten hours. 
I'm sitting at for the entire month of August, three hours and 45 minutes. And I'm part time, so. And these jobs, it's not like these jobs are assigned to me. They are opportunities that I can accept or decline. And if I miss one, somebody else in this area can get it. So, if I, like if I skip today and a bunch of jobs pop up and I'm not there, somebody else can get all those jobs. So there's a loss of income right there for me. And also I can only go to the jobs here in Midland. So there's another loss of income. So I'm very frustrated and upset about this whole thing. And by letting myself get sucked into this again, I feel like I just let myself get a repeat of Mackinac Island where I'm like, this job is gonna be so cool. It's not retail, it's a hotel. I'll be on the island, it will be easy. Yes, staying on the island was fun. And I miss living on the island. I would love to go back to the island. But at the same time, this whole situation is just, I got sucked into this dream job, the only thing thinking I'm gonna make all these friends and it turns out my dream job was a nightmare. The only good part was being able to explore the island and meet all these wonderful people who I feel totally guilty about now that I left. Like, I met this amazing woman who works at Joann's. I loved her. Um, she called me her best customer and I didn't even tell her I was leaving the island. So she probably hates me. So, um, but just like with Lakeview, I got sucked in with this idea of all this freedom at Lakeview was like, I'm going to have all these hours. I'm going to make all this money. And the reality is I didn't make any money. And I found this job where, oh, say your own hours will be great. I lose sounds great on paper. Now I'm coming to realize it's not steady. You know, I'm talking about saving up to go to Disney World in two years, in 2019. So I can go to Disney, so I can go to Star Wars Land and stay at the new hotel. I'm talking about taking a trip that will cost me maybe almost $4,000. And I should be starting to save now. And at the same time, I should be saving up to pay back my $26,000, $28,000 in student loans. You know, if I was had a steady job, I could be doing both. You know, I was planning on opening a second, two more savings accounts, one to start money for my loans and the other to start saving money up for my trip in 2019, 2020. And that was the plan as soon as I got a new job and now I can't do that. Because every, if I had a steady job, I would be able to do that and still be able to go get like the new Star Wars stuff, new Disney stuff. And now I can't because pretty much every single dime I make doing this job will have to go into my savings. And my mom's like, she's like, she will buy me my food and stuff like that. But I don't want her to do that. So like I said, it's very frustrating right now and also am I the only one who thinks the president really needs to get like a new brain in his head I mean hearing about the transgender ban and you guys know I can be pretty conservative conservative in my beliefs but I love everybody and I have a huge respect for those who serve in the military no matter who they are I don't care you love your country enough that you're willing to make that sacrifice I I was floored. I could not believe it. Even my more conservative relatives, I think, were kind of shocked when that came out. Because it's like, why? Why would you do that? I mean, just please nobody let, let Trump see The Handmaid's Tale. I just finished watching episode four. I'm trying to make my way through the series. I heard it's so good and I actually do like it, but it is so dark and depressing and most of the time I'm very bubbly, so it's like, uh, so. Please, nobody let our president see The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> it might give him ideas that he doesn't need. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, I did not mean for this vlog to be a downer. I promise I will do better. <laughs> I mean, next week I've got two events coming up. So trust me, it will get better. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to sign off for the day. Unless something happens and then I'll pop back on. But 
I will talk to you guys later. Lots of love, hugs, and prayers from this wild Michigan girl. See ya.